Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and it is Wesley's news. The device presented by Maxim Alev is supposed to be able to work up to 5 kilowatt of power for free. My dear friends, I really have a problem with people presenting their own free energy devices without properly exposing details. I'm going to show you the device that is handling 5 kilowatts of power per hour 210 to 240 volts. You will see that the same thing is that the same thing is that the same thing is that the the device is being powered from the ground wire. The device produces frequency 47 to 65 hertz depends from tuning. Можно сделать прибор на 100 кВт, но нужно для этого помещения не менее 50 квадратов. This particular concept could be made to be able to handle 100 kilowatts per hour, but then the size of the room must be more than 50 square meter. Ferrite mark as green could also be utilized and it is good to use radiators. And it is a single wire mode operation. For those using light bulbs as a load, it is helpful to know that now it consumes 50% of its nominal power. Это так для развития. Попробуйте. Только подача должна быть 12 вольт 600 микроампер. Конечно, люди подают 30 вольт и 10 ампер, и горит лампочка на 15 ватт 220 вольт. Это бред. Ее можно сунуть сразу в розетку, эффект будет тот же. А принцип получить больше КПД, дать меньше нагрузку. Но на эту тему можно много рассуждать. Я вас держу. Я не выложил бы никогда это видео, но обстоятельства подвели меня на этот видео. Я прекрасно понимаю, что меня будут искать. Я рискнул. Не секрет, что когда качер сделал катушку, то снимал с нее электричество. Только ему рот закрыли за съем энергии. Спасибо. Смотрите ролик. Okay, so now we know what we're dealing with. Roughly now. We have a guy whose name is Maxim Aliev. Спасибо большое, Maxim Aliev. Поставьте этот визик на свой канал. And he's doing assembly of the connector that was lying on a floor to the ground wire. It is a wire that is connected to cord water pipe on the right hand side, the vertical one painted in white. And now he connects it to the connector on the wooden board. 9 volt battery, Krona is being used to give one single impulse to start the device and then the device operate without any power supply at all. I don't know exactly what is the nominal power on the light bulb but it looks like 100 watts. That is indication that we have a high voltage, high uh, uh, 3,000, 5,000, 8,000. That's enough to ionize the gas. Maximalev is gonna 
remove the bucket that right there was used as a stand to show that no wires are connected and this is a wooden board with light bulbs on it that's a wooden stake with a piece of horizontal metal at the end used to short the output of the device showing that those two wires coming from the device to the small piece of wood with the light bulbs it is the wire that is powering the light bulbs and now he's gonna connect cell phone and see that the cell phone is charging connect the TV and it's gonna show the TV works as well so that's indication that he must have had 50 Hertz 60 Hertz and 220 volts which is normal for Europe in US we have 110 volts now he's trying to show us a little bit more oh this one this one looks like 500 watts the other one is could be 250 300 okay another 500 watts i'm a little bit confused because this kind of light bulbs were also manufactured in russia with one kilowatt nominal power on it but uh, let's assume that this is 500 watts. Uh, while, while he is doing all of that stuff and trying to flush it, the ground wire. The ground wire is connected to vertical pipe. What we don't see yet, and he doesn't show it on the video, is to disconnect the ground wire next uh, to the cold water pipe however we clearly have had visual of the ground wire connected to the wooden board with the device with one single wire that, that is no doubt another set of light bulbs so let's assume that we're dealing with 500 watts and a smaller one say 250 probably we're dealing right now with well, around 2000 watts The typical American house, small house in a village needs 5 kilowatts hour at minimum. Okay, please, please concentrate on uh, that vertical pipe, the only wire that is connected to all of this, what you see is the ground wire. It would be nice, it would be good if he would remove the wire, run the wire while the device is working. I want to say a few words in Russian. Уважаемый Максим Алиев. Хорошо было бы, если бы вы 
отключили провод, который подключен к трубе. Прямо как устройство работает. Обычно люди имеют вопросы по поводу, есть ли какие-нибудь провода скрыты за трубой вертикальной. Я понимаю, что вы хотите помочь и вы даете схему. Спасибо большое вам за это. I said a few words in Russian asking to create another video and show if there are any wires hidden behind the vertical pipe and eventually show disconnect of the ground wire during the operation what would happen it would be good to make some summary of all this stuff well, schematic is very simple. We have primer of Tesla coil, we have a secondary of Tesla coil, and then we have in parallel, in close proximity, that is being called near field, another coil that is receiving coil. We have a capacitor and from the other side of the capacitor we have ground wire. What we're missing in all of those devices is a theory, any kind of logic explanation. So although I have seen Tyre Kapernaz device that was working as desired, uh, there was no fake, we have Akua and we have Ruswan. Now some people put Ruswan in question, but that is going to be covered in another video on mine. And we have plenty of guys in the middle of it. Energy must come from somewhere and be converted to any usable form of energy. There is no free lunch, guys. However, there is energy that we don't have to pay for. And that's my Thank you for being with me on this video. This is Wesley and it was Wesley's news. See you next time.